In this morning's Health Watch, the kindness gene. New research suggests that people who are caring, open, and trustworthy may have it hardwired into their DNA. That means making nice may be easier for some than for others. Dr. Holly Phillips is here with an explanation. The very nice Dr. Holly Phillips, you want to point out. <laughs> Good to see Good you, Holly. Morning, Thanks for coming in. So, is empathy really part of our DNA? Well, you know what? This recent study shows that it very well may be. Uh, researchers at Oregon State University looked at 23 couples, and what mm -hmm. they did was they had them each describe to the other partner a very hard time in life or something, an occurrence that made them sad while the other partner listened. Then later, these tapes were played for total strangers, outside observers, okay. um, and they were told to watch the person who was listening and rank how empathetic they found that person to be, whether that person seemed kind and caring and trustworthy. What was interesting about the study is that they were able to predict with remarkable accuracy who had what variation of this kindness gene Interesting. just by looking from the outside. Okay, let's talk about the kindness gene. Exactly <laughs> Exactly. what is it? Sure, it is a receptor gene for oxytocin. Uh, oxytocin is one of the feel-good hormones released in the brain mm -hmm. uh, during times of caring and compassion, for instance, if you're holding a baby. Um, now, there are three variants of the gene. Uh, GG is the one that is linked with being the most empathetic, the most caring. Uh, People who have this variant tend to be more social. Okay. Um, AG is moderate. And then the people with the AA variant were perceived to be the least caring, the least understanding. Um, so it was very interesting that the outside observers, though, without knowing yeah. anything about these people's genes, could say, this is the most caring, this is the least okay. caring, and match it up. Other than what other people tell you, how do you know if you have this gene? <laughs> well, you know what? There's, there's, the test is done on saliva, but this mm. is not something that is done in regular medical practice. You know, mm. we don't just walk into the doctor and say, okay, well, let me go on ahead and, and have my kindness tested. Right. Uh, but the observers were looking from the outside in at particular gestures that we use when we listen uh, to another person that, that demonstrate caring. For instance, nodding along when somebody is talking mm. to you, uh, or, or leaning in, holding a very open body posture as opposed to keeping your arms closed. I see. Um, so that's, those are some of the things that make for good listeners and also mm. make for a person to seem kind and compassionate. I have a picture of two random people we just uh, came up with. <laughs> now, as a medical professional, can you tell here which one is nice and which one is not? Oh my God, you know what, they, they both look nice. You know, I, I, but I guess I, I'm a little bit biased. I may or may not know uh, both of the <laughs> subjects involved. Good answer. And I may or may not be able to say both are incredibly uh, nice people. Um, but that one on the right has a nice smile. Oh, that's nice, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Running for Congress, there there Holly Phillips. Go. Holly, thanks Always a lot. Politics. Good Always to see great you. to be here. And you are very nice, I really meant that. Thank you. For more on the kindness gene, you can go to our partner in health, webmd.com and search empathy.